What's going on everyone? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel, I am Easy Growing. Before we jump into the video here, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell notifications. That way you don't miss out on future videos. Also, it does really help out the channel and I greatly appreciate that. So thank you so much. Now let's jump into the video. What's going on everyone? In this week's video, I'm going to be covering weeks 4 through 8 of the photo period plants I have in flower. In week 4, we can see the plants are doing okay. I check the soil and see that I do have some living soil, so the nutrients is on its way. It's just going to take some time. I am liking the way that the plant is stacking. If I pull this off, it will be some good looking colas. Towards the end of week four though, I could see that the demand for phosphorus was really high and I was definitely behind. As I checked the undergrowth as well, I did start to see that some of the leaves were beginning to yellow, so I definitely needed to jump on this as soon as possible. In week five, I went ahead and top dressed the girls with Dr. Earth's Flower Girl, 394 NPK ratio and I top dressed with seven tablespoons and then I also added two tablespoons of my homemade banana peel fertilizer for a boost of potassium. I do have a video on how I made this so if you are interested I will put the link in the description down below. And of course, after every top dressing, I water in slowly. In week six, you can see that I overwatered my plant, and I talked about this in previous videos that I have a tendency to overwater my plants every time I need to add more fertilizer because for some reason I freak out and always end up overwatering. Now, because the fertilizer is a slow release, it is going to take time for the nutrients to be broken down to a point where it's absorbable by the plants so that's why we are still seeing a lot of fading happen with the lower growth and it's definitely behind in the nutrients which is bad in, in late flower like this so i did forget to record this but i did go ahead and add six more tablespoons of that flower girl the 394 right before this compost tea that i went ahead and put on the plants to kind of boost things and get them some nutrients right away. The next few days, it looks like the girls did enjoy that compost tea because they are shooting out a lot more white hairs and they look nice and strong. Towards the end of week six, I did go ahead and lower my light from 24 inches to 18 inches.
Brian Little. <laughs> Yoga. In week seven, the chocolate skunk and the clinical white CBD are looking really nice. Uh, really at this point, it's just a waiting game to see what happens. In week 8, these girls are definitely starting to fatten up. Uh, it looks like they did enjoy the extra fertilizer that I gave them. So they're really starting to pack on some weight now and the trichome production is looking much better. Overall, it is looking like the Clinical White CBD is packing on more weight than the Chocolate Skunk. I would like to see the Chocolate Skunk pack on a little bit more bud there, but we will see what happens when I actually have better conditions and proper fertilizer in the future, so we'll wait and see what happens. As we get later in the week, the plants are starting to fade in color, so it does seem like they are soaking up all the nutrients that is left in the soil, which is great because they will end up flushing themselves out automatically. So we'll look to harvest here in the next week or two. Uh, but the density on these plants are looking great. When I squish them, they feel really firm, especially the chocolate skunk that feels like a rock. Chocolate skunk has a sweeter smell to it, just like chocolate, and the clinical white CBD almost has like a Skittles smell to it, so I'm really excited to try these plants. And guys, with everything I struggled with on this grow, it actually looks like I'm going to pull it off. So I'm super excited. I'm glad I learned a lot from this. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the future. Yo, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those bell notifications, that way you don't miss out on future videos. Also, on a side note, if you're addicted to Twitch like I am, go ahead and check out my brother's Twitch account. He's just starting up. He plays a variety of games, and I love it when he rages. So go check him out, and the link will be down in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching my video today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.